Hi friends, welcome to yet another edition of QuickTip series from dataplatformcenter.com. In this edition, we will look at how Azure Data Factory can be used for transferring data from an old data service based source to Azure Cosmos DB. Azure Data Factory is an orchestration based service available within Azure platform which can be used for performing ELT ETL operations to integrate multiple sources to multiple destinations. So let's quickly go ahead and see a demo of how Azure Data Factory can be used to connect to an uh, Audata service based data source. For the sake of this demo, we'll make use of a commonly available free Audata based source which provides details about trips. As you see from the above screen, it consists of four main tables one containing the people information the other one containing airlines then a service which contains the airport information and finally another service which gives you new come paper now in this demo we will see how adf can be used to pull data from each of these services and populate corresponding document containers within our azure cosmos db as you see in my Azure portal, I have set up four containers under my Cosmos DB database for storing the data that is extracted from the OData service based data source. Each of these containers corresponds to the entity set of data which is coming from OData service source. Now let's go to Azure Data Factory and create a copy data pipeline to transfer data from the Audata service source to each of these containers. Once you move into the Azure Data Factory service, you will be greeted with the overview screen which gives details about your Azure Data Factory instance. You can make use of the author and monitor option available from the overview screen to move into the editor for creating Azure Data Factory packages. Click on order and monitor and it will take you to the welcome screen which contains quick links and a few help videos for creating data flows, copy data pipelines etc. For the purpose of this demo, we will be making use of the copy data pipeline. Click on the copy data option on the home window which will automatically launch the copy wizard for you. So give it a meaningful name so I'm going to name it Audita transfer click on next it will take you to the source data store screen here you need to create linked service to connect to your source in this case the Audita service for this purpose click on create new connection and you can go to, you can search for all data and it will automatically give you the linked service screen for all data. Click on the screen and click continue. The wizard will try to create a new all data service. So I am going to name it all data trip service. And we need to select the service URL for that. Just refer to your Definition of the auditor service, copy the URL and paste it within the service URL field. We shall use anonymous authentication in this case because this is a free and generally available service and doesn't require any special credentials. In your actual case, depending on the provider, there might be some credentials provided, in which case you can have to choose the corresponding option whether it is basic authentication or windows authentication etc so here we can select anonymous and give test connection once the connection is successful we can click on apply and it will automatically create the linked surface corresponding to the source click on next and it will show you the, de uh, the details of all the tables which is available inside the service select all the tables and click on next and it will provide you with the screen to do data validation. Click on validate to validate the metadata and it will automatically provide 
you with a preview of the data after successful validation for each of the tables. Once you have done it for all the tables, you can go ahead. So now we'll also do it for the people. Now that all the validations are done, we can move ahead by clicking next. Next, we need to create a corresponding linked service for connecting to our destination, which is Azure Cosmos DB. So click on new connection and select Azure Cosmos DB. Remember to select SQL API and click on continue. Correspondingly, a wizard will come asking you to fill the details for your Cosmos DB. So I'm going to do this like Cosmos underscore trip data. And you need to select the corresponding subscription where the Cosmos DB is present and also the account name. Once this is done, the database the available databases will be loaded against the database name and select your corresponding database. Once the database is selected, click on test connected to test the connection to your database. Once the connection is successful, click on create create the link service so now the link service to your destination has also been created now that the source and the destination link services are created the next step is to do mapping between the tables in the mapping screen you will see that the source entity set from our data service will be automatically mapped against the corresponding containers you have set up inside your Cosmos DB. This is done by virtue of the names because you have used the same names on both places. Azure Data Factory would be able to match between them. In case the names are different, you have to manually go to each of these selection boxes and select the corresponding containers for which the source data has to be populated. Once you have done the matching activity, then click on next. Remember to skip the schema and mapping for all tables so that it takes care of the mapping by itself. Click on next and it will show you the details of all the sources and the destinations that you have selected in the previous screen and because you have selected skip schema it will not give you any options to map between the schemas. Click on next and it will give you some settings if you need to do some further fault or settings you can set up here otherwise you can click on next I'm leaving it to the default values and then it will give you a highlight of what all settings you have done then click on next and it will automatically do the validation of the pipeline it will create the data sets it will create the pipeline it will run the pipeline for each of the stages you can see the progress by means of the green tick. So once the green tick is done, means that the stage is completed and it moves over automatically to the next stage. So as you see from the screen, now it has started running your pipeline. Now you need to go and monitor the running of this pipeline. For that purpose, you can click on the monitor icon which is provided. Click on the monitor icon and it will take you to the monitoring screen where you can see that your data transfer the pipeline you created has already been succeeded and it has taken around 15 seconds for populating the data from your old data source to your Cosmos DB instance. Now that the data has been successfully populated, you need to go back and check your Cosmos DB and make sure the data is there. So go back to your Cosmos DB and refresh each of these containers and you should see the data. Expand each of the containers within your Cosmos DB database and click on refresh and you should see that the data has been successfully loaded from your source to the Cosmos DB containers. So you can go to each one of those containers, go to the items and click on the refresh button on top. And 
hover over each of the data and click on it and you'll get the details of the data inside that. You can compare it to the data that is coming from your source and you'll see that the data is matching from what that is coming from your OData service. Hope you enjoyed this quick demo of how ADF can be used to transfer data from OData source to Cosmos DB. For getting quick videos like this, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel dataplatform.com. Thank you all and wish you all a nice day.